Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where every week I perform different demonstrations and explain the science behind what we're seeing. This week I'm going to take a look at a mind-boggling shape and throw in some Valentine's art as I explore Mobius strips. Let's check it out. Mobius strips are a shape formation that do not conform to the rules of shapes that we normally learn. They come under an area of mathematics called topology and were independently discovered in 1858 by Johann Benedict Listing and August Ferdinand Mobius. The Mobius strip is named after the latter of these two mathematicians. To understand Mobius strips, first I need to demonstrate a couple of other things about shapes and then I'll show you how to make your own Mobius strip at home. First, I'm going to take a strip of paper and I'm going to bend it round until the two ends meet and I'm going to tape them together. And you'll see that I have formed a simple circle. Now that I've got my simple circle, we're going to look at the properties of it. You'll see that it has two edges and it also has two faces, one on the outside and one on the inside. To show that it has two faces, I'm going to use a pen and I'm going to go from where my tape starts and draw around one face of the circle without crossing over the edge until I get back to where I started. And now that I've done that, we can see that this simple circle does have two faces. There's pen going all the way around the outside face and if we bend the circle around to look at the inside, there is no pen on the inside. So we've got one outside face with pen and one inside face without pen. Now what I'm going to do is take another strip of paper and bring it round until the ends meet. This time I'm going to give one of the ends a full twist. So I'm going to twist it once in half, then twist it once over again, and now I'm going to tape the two bits together. This time I've got more of a twisted shape compared to the simple circle I had the first time. Although it looks a bit more complicated, this shape still has two edges and it still has two faces. To demonstrate the faces to you, again I'm going to take my pen from where the tape starts and draw around the piece of paper until I get back to where I started. So if we look at this shape, just like with a simple circle, you'll notice that as I turn it round, one of the faces has pen on it and one of the faces doesn't have pen on it. As I was drawing it, which is quite tricky when you're trying to hold it up to the camera, I didn't cross over either of the edges, so I've shown that this shape has two edges and just like the simple circle, has two faces. And now we're going to move on to the mind-boggling shape of the Mobius strip. To form a Mobius strip, I'm going to take another strip of paper and bring the two ends round until they meet. And this time I'm going to give one of the ends a half twist and then I'm going to tape the two pieces of paper together. So now I've got a shape which looks less complicated than the last one but slightly more complicated than the simple circle. However, unlike the last shape and unlike the simple circle, this one only has one face and this is a Mobius strip. Now how can this only have one face when a strip of paper has two faces and the circle and the previous shape also had two faces. Well, to demonstrate it to you, I'm going to take my pen from where the tape starts, run it round the piece of paper until I get back to where I started, and then we're going to review the shape. So now that I'm finished with the pen, let's take a look at the shape. You'll notice that as I turn it round, the pen line goes on what would look like as both faces. I never crossed any of the edges, but the pen manages to run right the way around what looks like the outside and inside of the shape before getting all the way back to where it started. 
And this is a fascinating thing about Mobius strips, is that you can form, out of a two-faced object, a one-faced object. Mobius strips have been used in various things, such as typewriters, cassette tapes and ink cartridges, because it allows you to double up on the amount of space you've got to write on. With the simple circle, or with the previous shape, you've only got one face that you can write on. Now with the Mobius strip, although you've only got one face that you can write on, because it's got this twist in it, you actually end up covering twice the amount of distance as you would on a simple circle or on the shape with a double twist. Another interesting thing that you can do with these three different shapes is see what happens when you cut them in half. I'm going to start with a simple circle. So I'm going to take my scissors and just find a point on it that I want to start at and cut all the way around the middle of the strip. And once I've cut all the way around, you see I now have two circles. Next, I'm going to do the exact same thing with the second shape that I made, where I put the full twist in the piece of paper. So again, I'm going to pick a point where I want to start and cut all the way around the middle of this shape. It's a bit trickier because it's got the twist, but it's doable. And this time, what you end up with is two circles that are joined together. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the Mobius strip. So I'll pick a point where I want to start cutting, cut around it all the way to the end, and see what we're left with. When you get a Mobius strip in half, you end up with a very large circle, much bigger than the Mobius strip that we started with. In fact, it's twice the size of the Mobius strip that we started with. Remember I said before that Mobius strips were used in typewriters, cassette tapes and in ink cartridges because it gave you twice the amount of space? Well this is further evidence of that. When I cut the simple circle in half and I cut the piece of paper with the full twist in half, we ended up with two small circles. In one case two separate small circles and in one case two joined small circles. This time, when I've cut the Mobius strip in half, we've ended up with one really large circle, which has a lot more space on it than the other ones when they're cut in half. And now it's time for the Valentine's Arts and Crafts task using Mobius strips. I'm going to take a strip of paper and bring it round until the two ends meet. And I'm going to give this strip of paper a twist to the right on one end and tape it together to make one Mobius strip. Then I'm going to take a second strip of paper, bring the ends round until they meet, and this time I'm going to give one end a twist to the left. And this is very important that one of these twists to the right and the other twists to the left. Once I've made my two Mobius strips, I'm going to tape them together at a 90 degree angle. Now that I've taped my two Mobius strips together at a 90 degree angle, I'm going to cut down the middle of both strips and see what I'm left with at the end. Now I'm about to cut through the last bit and let's see what we end up with. And now I have two Valentine's hearts nicely cut out of Mobius strips and joined together. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, I would like to take this opportunity to answer any science questions you have about any science topics at all. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers to your questions. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here and I've added links here 
to the other STEM demonstrations I've done so far. This has been STEM with Mr N, exploring Mobius strips. Thank you.